people, you know, so that's what we're going to do for the rest of the day. And of course, as always, we like to give you that morning message. A little something to get you uh, get you started. Today's morning message comes from Felicia Rashad, Ooh. one of my favorites, Howard University alum. Okay. You know her as, as Miss Cosby, Mrs. Cosby. Mm. Huh? I mean, I'm tripping. Miss Huxtable, I'm tripping. Sorry. It's early in the morning, man. I went to um, Bowie State University, their homecoming kickoff. Uh, it was a big DJ battle. I'm sorry. <laughs> had to forgive me. Okay. Jot the memory. Uh, but Miss Huxtable, Claire, a.k.a. Felicia Rashad, this is her on um, teachers and the power of teachers and teaching. Being a student with a great teacher is like being a flower. You don't see your petals opening. They just do. Because a good teacher tends that plant. A good teacher tends to those petals. A good teacher watches and learns how you learn and is really interested in seeing that light go on. That's what it is. Just seeing that light go on. Seeing that flash of intuition in the eyes of the student when the teacher knows, ah, they had an idea. See, that's how Mrs. Whedon was as an instructor. Mm -hmm. That's what she cared about, that we should have that flash of intuition, that we should have that idea. Ah, think about it. Mm, I like that. Okay. I like that because she spe she's speaking as a student and what her mm -hmm. teacher did to her and the power of teachers. And, um, you know, I think this applies to managers as well, uh, If you if for those of you going to work and whatnot. But when it comes to helping people grow, right, you have to have an investment in that person. And I think more than ever, management in particular needs to do better jobs at investing in people mm. and at looking at people as flowers that should be growing instead of like, this is somebody I control. This is somebody I tell what to do. Because if you're a good teacher, if you're a good coach, if you're a good manager, then you're looking for that little spark of intuition. And I think now more than ever, I see um, coaches on power trips. I see teachers who are uninspired and therefore a lot of times they just, you know, they're not investing in, in the Going children. The or they might be overwhelmed. You know, you yeah. got too many students in the class and it's hard to focus on all of them. But mm -hmm. I just thought it would be a great reminder because then that's not all people, all managers, all coaches. Don't be in your feelings. But I want you today, if you are a manager, a teacher, a coach, Anything in that capacity where you are responsible for another person's success or you're responsible for helping a person grow, I want you to consider, am I really invested? Am I really, like, excited about their growth? Am I excited about seeing them become something great? And if you are, kudos to you. Keep going. Keep pushing because that student needs you. There's a reason that there are managers, coaches, and teachers because you are needed for the development of, of others. And if that's where you go in your life, if that's something that you want to do with your life, then do the job and do the job well. And remember that that student, that student can become so amazing because you were looking for that spark. You weren't looking to control them. You weren't looking to tell them what to do. You were looking for them to find it in themselves and, and bloom. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a rewarding thing. So that's today's morning message. Um, and students, be open to receiving direction from your teacher, from your manager, from your coach. Right? Because as a flower, you got to be available. You got to be in this. You got to know, okay, I may not have fully bloomed. So I need I need to be aware that, that in that, right, there's going to be some watering. Mm. There's going to be some sunshine. There's going to be some things that got to happen for me to bloom, too. And that coach or that manager or that teacher, if they really, truly, genuinely are invested in your growth, then then you've got to tr and you trust that if you can trust that and trust them, then be patient, too, in that process, because it won't always be like your coach ain't there to always pat you on the back and say great job either. So it's a, it's a two-way street, all right? Something to think about. That's your morning message. Have a great day. And from morning message to morning mojo, who's trying to see Lauren?